Okay, Josh here, and now I want to do a quick comparison between the St. Regis, which we just stayed at for two nights here in Mexico City, which is that building right behind me there, and the Ritz-Carlton, which we are at now here in Mexico City. These are actually the two most expensive hotels in all of Mexico City, ranging from anywhere from 700 to over thousands of dollars per night, depending on the time of year that you're choosing to visit. Now, if you're a Marriott Bonvoy member, there you can use your well-earned points to stay at either one, and uh, the rates fluctuate. So here's the website looking at the St. Regis, Mexico City and the Ritz-Carlton, Mexico City. First up, I'm gonna show you the points values for the St. Regis. Um, as you can see, it ranges from about 53,000 points, some nights way over 70,000 uh, per night. Uh, for the Ritz-Carlton, uh, it's about around the same, between like 60 and 70,000 points per night, which is a really, really good value uh, compared to the cash rate. Now here's the cash rate at the St. Regis, Mexico City. Um, I'm just gonna go January through June, just the beginning of each month, just to show you the prices. But as you can see, the lowest you really see is about $4.99. Um, that's before tax, so even with tax, everything is at least about six, seven hundred dollars per night. Same thing goes here with the Ritz Carlton. It is just a little bit more expensive, but it's still very, very uh, high there, six hundred to seven hundred dollars uh, per night, making the points a uh, really good value because you're getting over a penny a point, which is tremendous. Now, the St. Regis, I will be honest, we did feel like they had a little bit better service uh, because they do have the butlers, um, which can bring you tea upon request and coffee and things like that. Um, the Ritz-Carlton didn't have that. Um, the St. Regis also is a more of a um, traditional feel hotel. It's not as new and modern as the Ritz-Carlton, but it's still very elegant, very well appointed, um, very, very nice. Uh, we also enjoyed the breakfast a little bit better at the St. Regis. Uh, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet, and if you're an elite member with Marriott Platinum and Hyatt, you do get two complimentary free breakfasts at the St. Regis. Now, the Ritz-Carlton, I will be honest, is the hotel that I would personally choose to come back to, and that is because the room, the bathroom, the whole facility, the building is all brand new, modern, clean, and the views, there's nothing like it. It blows almost every other hotel I've ever stayed at out of the water. Now, it does come with a little less uh, when it comes like to benefits for elite members. There's no free breakfast. Um, there's nothing really free with your stay except you do get access to the pool and fitness center and things like that. Overall, if you care more about classic luxury, uh, something more uh, unique and have established hotel that's been here for a very long time and you also care about getting that complimentary breakfast if you're platinum and higher with Marriott and uh, you really want the best service, definitely recommend staying at the St. Regis, which is that round building there behind me. If you care all about a modern luxury, something brand new, something that will blow your mind how the architecture works, and uh, you do still care about really great service, I recommend the Ritz-Carlton. Uh, you will not be disappointed. The rooms here at the Ritz-Carlton are incredible, new, modern. The rooms at the St. Regis are also nice. They're just more of a classic luxury, something um, the hotel has been here for about a little over 13 years. So it's been here a while. The Ritz-Carlton is brand new, but one of the best in the world here at the Ritz. So if you're coming, either hotel is gonna be a great option. You can't go wrong with either one of the best of the best in Mexico City, but those are just kind of the comparisons from the book, two of them. Thank you so much for watching. The links are below of my review for both the Ritz-Carlton and St. Regis individually. Also, please subscribe as you won't want to miss my next review as it has a chance to be a perfect score. Thank you so much.